This is a disturbing report, reads a tweet from the other side of the world about the Global News exclusive that Chinese fighter pilots are getting dangerously close to Canadians in international airspace. The UN mission to enforce sanctions on North Korea is called Operation Neon. The UN commander who tweeted overseas bases, including the one in Japan that houses the Canadian plane in question. No official response yet from Beijing. But the story is reverberating around the globe, picked up by outlets including the BBC, Reuters and CNN. Story about the Chinese jets buzzing Canadian aircraft. <laughs> Has the U.S. also seen an increase in these types of Chinese provocative actions? Reporters inquiring at a U.S. State Department briefing. I would need to refer you to the Department of Defense to uh, speak to any particular trend lines. We uh, have spoken of uh, PRC's provocative military activity uh, in the region. Here at home, the Prime Minister called the situation extremely troubling. We will be uh, bringing up it up directly with uh, Chinese officials and counterparts uh, and ensuring that uh, this doesn't uh, continue to be part of an escalatory pattern. Exactly how Canada plans to do that is not clear. China's military is unprofessional and poorly trained and does not follow the rules. While the opposition wants Canada to spend more on defence, meeting NATO's 2% of GDP target. I think it's a hallmark of other militaries uh, that we've seen, such as Russia's military in Ukraine, uh, which has equally been reckless and unprofessional. With eyes around the globe, watching. Abigail Beeman, Global News, Ottawa.